Carla said about the female gross beak that her the underside of her wings are yellow remember the parakeets in from the park and it's a whole flock of them yeah. and and they keep reproducing and you know it's a self-sustaining community yep and and it, i'm sure it started with some pets uh, getting lost hey look hey sweetie this is like they're, they're, they're doubling down here yeah. nice or tripling down even this is a nice, uh, sturdy uh, stack, eh? So are these the edible beans? Um, no. No, eh? This is more decorative because... There's a, it, there's a couple of uh, pole beans. Yeah. This. Yeah, it's a mix. Okay. This is, I think this But you will recognize the beans when they come. Well, yeah, they're yeah. totally different. But for now, this is just uh, a matter of um, shading and... And that must be starting to work by now. The shading? Oh, yeah, that was right. most definitely. And at some point, yeah. we need to refrain yeah. from closing the windows then, so that we can also enjoy the view yeah. from the inside yeah. and see all the beautiful plants and notice when there's hummingbirds coming. Because all these guys are supposed to be attracting hummingbirds as well. Yeah. This is still a pretty sorry. <laughs> yes, it's pretty sad. Anyway, I'll, I'll keep feeding and see if so yeah. Come back. Anyway, I would suggest that if this ever becomes our uh, little haven, uh, that maybe uh, we have a small little bed there, and and the patio stones will fill this in, and have a little table in the shade. You know, like a little uh, how do you call that? Um, a bistro mm -hmm. set. You know, mm -hmm. just uh, it's a nice and shady and sheltered spot. And if nothing wants to grow here, or or things like hostas and such, like yeah, like shady, yeah, uh, yeah, a nice, uh, yeah. So oh, I mean, the, I like the beans there, and obviously the they're doing fine. Yeah, they're getting enough sun. But yeah, uh, like. Um, and this will, you know, later in this, like in, uh, you know, August, this will get up more sun. And maybe then the, the sun, second flush right of now strawberries. Right the sun's rising here. Yeah. Like this. But it's just going to go in this August, way. It's going to be rising over yeah. here and lower in the yeah. sky, so this will actually get more sun yeah. later in the summer. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize when we planted, when we planted you know, because I, I, I wasn't really here until August. No, exactly. So you thought like, oh, wow, this looks well, great. Mm. Yeah. But you know what? This whole bed, sweetie, for next year, if we are still here, whatever, um, needs to be re dug anyway because there is plenty infestation yeah. Yeah, and then i would take the stones out again and just kind of like start from scratch dig everything up rethink it and and um because i mean it's it's a hot spot you know there's like edging there and then there's a piece of edging going up and yeah. then stops and the, um, the oh excellent Up. I know, the they'll go over. Already. Fantastic, eh? So you're going to train these guys to go this way? Yes, a couple anyway. Or I'll move them. In. They, uh, want they, to go in this they want to go in this direction. Anyway for the sun. This is where the light is. Yeah, and, and there might be but more I'm, string. I do want a bunch over there to shade that. Yeah, but you get, that's a tiny little bit. Um, but you know, they do spread out. Yeah, like this one, but because exactly. And also uh, there's morning glory coming up in here no, too. No, it's a eh? surprising amount of shade cast by these. Yeah. By Is these there plants. any morning glory left? Yeah, there's one, one here. And there's one over a couple okay. over here. Okay. Okay. They'll work their They'll way work. in. Yeah, they're they're pretty aggressive. 